Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Toshiba Tecra C50-C otherwise the model number would be PS571U and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can repaste and clean up the heatsink on this model. You should be doing your own servicing every few years or every year at least I would say depending the usage that you give. If yours is running really hard and you want to just open it up and clean it this video is for you. By doing a service, you're not going to lose any files or data or anything like that. It's totally safe to do. All right, I'm going to go over the tools that I'll be using. So, and I'll leave the link for every tool that I use in the video description in case you guys need to purchase yours. Tool number one will be a screwdriver set. I'll recommend you guys to use an iFixit screwdriver set as they have, these are one of the best brands out there. These are made out of the S2 class steel. We're going to be using a Phillips number one. If you get the Pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab a uh, guitar pick and metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. And it's a good thing to have uh, curved tweezers. You need an alcohol, isopropolic or isopropolic 95% plus, a workshop towel or sheet, and obviously your thermal paste. A thermal paste, a good one, is an Arctic MX-4. But if you want to go over the budget and get yourself a thermal grizzly cryonaut, but these are really fine for this project. All right. With all this on hand, first we're going to remove the battery by removing the trigger to the left. The other one, you have to hold it and pull the battery backward. And there you have the battery. Now we're going to remove all the screws that we see on the bottom cover. Starting from one corner, go ahead and remove all the screws. Also, if you guys like my videos and if my videos are helping you guys out and you want to support the channel, you can do that by clicking that like and subscribe. It will be greatly appreciated. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests and answer your questions in the comment area. I will appreciate that. I found this laptop to be excessive on the screws on the bottom case is absolutely you know, like exaggerating with the screws. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Just remove them and keep them in one pile. Once we remove all the screws, first we're gonna remove the DVD drive. We're gonna pull it out and put it to one side. Now, just double check, make sure you haven't missed any screws. So what we're going to do, we're going to open it up just like this and to hold it and we're going to stick the guitar bit, the opening tool between the bottom cover and the palm rest, just like that. And we're just going to twist it, keep twisting it like that, all the way in the front. You want to hear those clicks, those are the clips that are getting loose. You want to do that the same thing all around. You can either wiggle it around, they will get loose and lift up the bottom cover, just like that. And obviously, it will be a good thing to have a, a toothbrush to clean up the dust and the bottom ventilation right there. So we're going to put this to one side. All right. And down here, we're going to see the whole uh, CPU right there and heatsink and the fan. To disconnect the fan, it's simply we're going to pull this. We're not going to pull the cables back. We're going to hold the jack from the sides and pull it backward. So that way we don't damage the cables. Now, to remove the fan, we need to unscrew this screw right here. The second screw goes from the bottom case. We're going to remove the three screws for the heatsink. These are the really tiny screws. All right, now we're going to lift it up from here. We're not going to lift it up from here because otherwise you can bend the tubing. So lift it up from the side, bring it up, and there we have it. It is really dirty and the dust that is accumulated in here. And there's a lot of cables here that you need to untangle, lift them up. Lots of dust in here, you wanna remove all the dust. These cables, the power jack cable, everything comes through here. Pretty much, you wanna untangle it right there. And there we have it. So you can take it outside with a compressed air. I will leave a link for a good compressed air. And with a toothbrush, remove and clean. And also you can clean and remove the heatsink right there. 
and I'm gonna take it outside and blow some air and clean up the whole thing with a uh, compressor and I'll be back all right now that I cleaned up the fan and look how clean it is right now and we're gonna proceed with cleaning up the thermal paste so to clean up the thermal paste you want to grab a little bit of the workshop towel you want to soak it in an alcohol and you want to just rub over the CPU and remove the excess and then flip it over and keep cleaning until you remove everything and use a dry part to polish that crystal die and you can use the same one to just remove the excess of thermal paste of the CPU you don't need this uh, Shielding around it is absolutely not necessary. It's not going to make a short even if you remove it. I'm actually going to remove it. You don't need to. But you can leave it if you want. Now what we're going to do, we're going to grab our thermal paste. We're going to put one drop on the main die. And one tiny line on the secondary die. Just like that. And once we have that one in there, now we're going to grab the heat sink. We're going to place the bottom there here and align the screw holes and put it right on top. Now you can follow the numbers or cross the screw them. So one, two, three, or three, two, one, and two. All right, the next step would be before we put down, first uh, run the cables for the power jack and the LCD cable. Just squeeze them in there and uh, sit down the fan right there. You slide the fan jack right into the connector and put the single screw on the fan right there by the tube. Once we have that in there, we are almost set to go. So all you need to do is to grab the bottom cover, bring it over, align it straight on top. And you want to squeeze, you want to hear those clicks. On the sides, on the mid back, you slide down the DVD cover, I mean the DVD drive in there. Alright, now that we put the bottom case on top, all we need to do is to put the bottom screws. Remember, I said that all the screws are the same size, they're actually not. They are four long screws, and the rest are the short ones. The long ones go by the hinges, put them right by the hinge right in here. So they just need to be a little bit longer. And the short one goes all over the place on the bottom casing. I hope you liked this video and helped you guys out. If it did, please click the like and subscribe to support the channel. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.